Your confidence and your charisma. A lot of people love it, some not so much. So how does that play a, a role when you step out on the field? I use it as motivation really just to make myself play at a high level. You know, not too many times you can go out and talk crap and then be playing very, not play at a high standard. Feel like it holds yourself at a high standard because you can't just talk and, and not walk the walk. you can't talk the talk and not walk the walk. You gotta back it up. As far as the camaraderie and the chemistry, I mean, because you know you can be teammates on the field. Yeah. You may not necessarily be friends off the field. Is that chemistry? Is that natural respect for one another on and off the field? Is that there? It's definitely natural on and off the field. I mean, we. You know, we're all in a different country, well, most of us, but even like the Canadian players, you know, they bring us places and tell us where to go and where not to go. You know, it's just fun because you hang out with all the people that you're working with and it feels like a different kind of bond, like you don't want to let the person down. Your extension, obviously great news for both sides, Thai Cats and for yourself. You're smiling already when I brought up the, <laughs> when I brought up the word extension. What seems to make it even more special is that since your announcement, Coach Reinbolt has extended, Zach has extended. There have been other extensions earlier in the year as well. There's something special that's making a lot of people and a lot of important people on the team want to stay. Nobody just wants to flat out leave Hamilton because we get treated so well. Any player that comes from a different team and comes and plays here for a little bit or even a lot, a long time, it's like it's so much different. The coaching staff, if you're around them, like it's just, it's just a good place to be, you know. Everybody knows everybody, everybody's comfortable around everybody. It was a no-brainer for me to extend. Zach Caleros extended, that's my partner in crime. <laughs> it's just, it's fun, it's gonna be a good time. How does it help having that friendship with a player like Zach on and off the field? It's a different element when you're playing with somebody that you like, really enjoy on and off the field because you can talk to them in a way that that you know they're not going to take offense to them because you know it like like I could say something to Rico that I like I could say something to Rico Rico could say something to me and I know neither of us will take offense to it and that goes on like Emmanuel Davis and that like most everybody on the defense you know week one Hamilton versus Toronto, probably your least favorite team in the league, and you put on a clinic. Seven tackles, two QB sacks. I'm pretty sure you know the stats. You did well, and obviously it resulted into your Week 1 CFL Player of the Week award. What made you so successful that night? My teammates did a great job. Like every time I made a play, somebody was making a crazy play to help me make the play. I had to go run and thank somebody. Like, oh, thank you, chick. Oh, thank you. I got a free fumble. Oh, thank you, chick. I got a free pick six. With a group like that, you with some have so many good players on the team, it raises your level of play because nobody wants to be the guy that's on tape. Like, you see everybody else. What are you doing? So it's like everybody's just playing balls the wall and it's super fun just being out there with a group of like that. Week one, thumbs up. Week two, pretty much the exact opposite. Wasn't exactly the best performance from the team, but at the same time, you've become this vocal leader. How does Simone lead when the going gets tough? We were having too many mental errors and we were not lining up and it just didn't look like us on tape, but it's something that you can learn from as, as well. Because you could look at the week one tape and see what we all did to be successful and then look at the week two tape. You know, you're not just going to be able to walk on the field and just be a good player. You have to put the same work, the same preparation in and the same attention to details to be successful. Uh, so I saw on your Snapchat that your mom was in town. Yeah, yeah. What's it like uh, being so far away from your, your loved ones? It's probably like the hardest thing for me just because I have a, I have a niece and nephew. And like my niece is all the way in the West Coast in Utah. And my nephew, it's not as bad during season because they can come all the home games because they're right here in Philadelphia. Game day, game day, game day, yeah. It's tough, but they make it easy just because they're always like sending me videos. But all this social media stuff, it's like I'm practically with them every single day. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, it's cool. My mom and dad, you know, they're my rock. You know, they keep me going all the time. And you know, just for them to come to all my games and just hang out with me, I mean, that's pretty dope.